What's going on guys, this is Pseudo Shoe, and today we're going to go into more detail on TaskBot. Um, I wanted to cover more of the proxy basics before we got into uh, proxy selection on TaskBot, so if you are not familiar with pro proxies and how to use them, uh, be sure to go and check out my video on proxy basics. I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Um, so first we're going to go into our task section and create a task. Um, you see I have easy supply with a test billing profile size 9, searching for 350s, um, and then we have select a proxy on here, which is optional. So we're going to click add, we'll do 3131, well, actually let me, uh, let me delete all these first. So let's add one here, 3131, save, and we're going to select that proxy and save that task. So if we come over to our task manager here, um, we have that task that we just created. So once we start this task, you'll see that this system preferences page comes up um, and it wants us to authenticate that proxy since it is a user pass proxy. So we're gonna click system preferences, type in our username and password and click okay. Once that's done, that proxy has been authenticated in OSX and it will start running for a restock. So let's stop that now. Um, be aware that if you are using user pass proxies like that, you are going to have to authenticate every single one for each port. Um, make sure you do that before the drop happens. So give yourself some time to go through and create a bunch of test uh, tasks and then start them all and enter the username and password in system preferences for it, it will auto come up for you. Um, if you don't do that, then you're going to be screwed right at the drop because you're going to run all your tasks with user pass proxies and you're not going to copy anything because you're going to have to sit there and enter all the usernames and passwords. I've done this before on Supreme, I completely forgot um, back when I still use user pass proxies and really kicked myself because I missed a lot of good stuff and it, if I had just authenticated those proxies five minutes beforehand I would have been fine. Um, so be sure to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure TaskBot even recommends using IP auth. Let me see if it's in the FAQ still. Um, where are you? There we go. Yeah. So we advise only or using only IP authenticated proxies. So I personally only use IP auth now. Um, I don't know why there's really any reason to use user pass anymore unless you really don't know what IP auth is. Um, I cover how to find your IP if you don't know how to do that, but it's really not as complicated as it sounds. Um, as long as you have the IP address of your Comcast modem, um, you just need that public IP and then you send it off to the proxy provider and they will authenticate for that IP. Um, that way you don't have to deal with usernames and passwords anymore, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, highly recommend using IP auth for TaskBot or any, any bot that's going to be on um, OSX. Um, so let's talk about smart search. So you see we already have this one task for easy supply. Um, let's go in here and create two more. So we'll do a size 10 with the same proxy, smart search. We'll enable that and click save. Let's do 11 as well. Smart search and save and we'll go back to terminal. So what smart search does, and we'll, I'll, I'll run it now just so you can see, is we have our first task running searching for the restock. Um, the other two are sitting dormant. The point of smart search is to allow a single task to be looking for that product and the rest to sit back and relax and wait for that first monitoring task to pick things up. Uh, this is super convenient so that you don't get soft banned, especially if you're running tasks without proxies. Um, every now and then I'll run for a restock or something. I know it's coming on a certain site, but it's not until like 3 a.m. and I'm not going to stay up for that. So. Um, it's nice not having to worry about having proxies if you are going for something on Shopify because you could just have three or four tasks running um, and only the first one will be monitoring for the restock, so you are most likely not going to get soft banned. Um, if you had three or four running on your home IP, then you're probably going to get soft banned within five to ten minutes just because of how Shopify works, so this is a nice added feature. Um, it is still in beta, but as far as I know, it's working pretty well. I've yet to use it on a true drop yet, but I'm looking forward to that feature. Um, I know that they are going to eventually add the ability to edit your tasks, which will be really convenient. Um, I don't know when that's coming, but I have heard on the Discord, the TaskBot Discord, about task editing, so I know that's in the pipeline. 
Um, they also are adding any size, any color. So for you guys that are big resellers and don't care about sizes or colors, they're going to add an option in here for any size, any color, and the bot will just pick up whatever is available. So be aware of that. Um, I'll leave the link down in the description for the t Discord invite. It's not a an official TaskBot Discord, but um, one of the developers is in there, um, and they usually post when updates are available and all that good stuff. So, yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go over the mobile app in another video just because it's completely different. Um, it's really simple. Not a whole lot you can do with it anyways other than solve captures and start and stop tasks, but um, I'll do that in a separate screen recording. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that should be about it.